We are living at a very, very important time period in the history of the Earth plane. We are about to start the golden age, Krita Yuga or Satya Yuga. And that's the reason why the gods are descending into the Earth plane. Science is no longer going to be the dominant guiding force for human beings. It's going to be replaced by gods and miracles. Now, what is science going to do for someone who says that I have not succeeded at all? Although I'm much better than a lot of other guys out there who are dumb and stupid, but making a lot more money and then also happen to be my, my boss. Well, the simple answer to this question is luck. He's very lucky or he's very influential and then he got to this place true to some extent. But then I am more interested in finding remedies for that. I can go into the causes of why somebody, you know, who is not skillful or not intelligent is successful and someone who is very skillful, talented is not successful. It could be past life that you didn't, um, you know, pay your employees or cheated them or your forefathers, you know, who died and they, they are not in a good place in heaven or on the way to heaven. So, so there are so many uh, causes for why you are not succeeding. That, I'm more interested in remedies. The remedy is not going to be provided by science or rationality, but by the interference of the divine. And the divine is interfering now. This is the time period that Ganesha is descending as I mentioned many times that he is uh, the miracle maker. Ganesha is a miracle maker. Just now, a few few weeks ago, not even a week ago, two two weeks ago, or two weeks or one week ago, I gave us uh, Ganesha remedy for a person who is who wanted a solution for which there was not any human solution, and she wanted uh, quick results. And I gave a remedy and then Ganesha worked in a fabulous way without hurting anyone. And that's the most important thing. He doesn't hurt. So that's why it's important for every one of you to understand that there is remedy for, for problems for which you think that there have not been any powerful remedies. There are remedies. God is the remedy. Okay. And in this case, Ganesha is the supreme God. You don't have to worship too many gods. If you just worship only Ganesha, there's enough. Okay. Even gods worship him. So that God's time is now on this earth plane. And uh, I want you to uh, take advantage of this time. Ganesha is presiding over time. It's true. Uh, that's all just to convince you to come to Ganesha. To, because to bring science is to bring validity or credibility. So if we talk in terms of 
Vani Kanamo neurons or in the brains of Ganesha, in the elephant. And also there's a lot of studies on that. And also Ganesha <clears throat> is into arithmetics. You know, there are researchers in Japan, all that I'm going to cut down. I'm going, not that I hate science, I love science, but science is not going to give us miracles. 